Well, hello everyone. This is CJ with Cycletron. Well, last year, our uh, Easy Rider Greg took time out on one of his rides. Uh, remember that it was uh, Pearl Harbor Day, and yesterday was the 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. So it got me thinking. Of course, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now. There's a lot of people with having a real rough time. But by and large, the issues that we're dealing with right now, you can kind of put it in perspective. I mean, at least we're not find ourselves at the start of a world war like they did 80 years ago. I mean, we've got runaway inflation we still got a pandemic going on for a while yet but we still have awful lot to be grateful for I'm grateful for the people who mobilized and fought to win World War II for the Allies you know there were a lot of American construction workers in the Pacific area before the start of the war after Pearl Harbor of course we declared war in Japan and then Germany declared war on the United States so it wasn't possible for those civilians to continue working to support the US they would have been classified as non-enemy combatants so many of those folks joined the Navy and became part of the construction battalion the Seabees I think the average age of a Seabee was around 37 years old pretty interesting group of folks over 30 years ago I was a young officer in the Naval Reserves and in the Civil Engineer Corps assigned to supervise a construction battalion unit so they consisted of a variety of trades construction, plumbing, electrical. Sometimes wonder if we find ourselves in a crisis like they did 80 years ago, if people would answer the call. I think they would. I hope they would. Of course, back then, the troops supporting the war effort were all in. There were people who were serving in the European theater, and once that wrapped up, they got sent over to the Pacific theater. I mean, they were in it for the duration. So here I am, 80 years later. I had family that served in World War II. My grandpa, specifically. He was part of an army unit that liberated a, a concentration camp in Austria. I think when he got back from World War II, he had what we now call PTSD. He decided to take his family, my dad among them, out to the country and try farming in a piece of land that was wholly unsuited to the purpose, but he just couldn't be in the city for a while. Here I am over 75 years after he got back from the war, tooling around on a Harley. Going about my business. I know I'm fortunate by today's standards, let alone from 75 plus years ago, some of the issues that a lot of people have, you know, have to deal with are high inflation and difficulty getting prescriptions filled. If you get your prescriptions filled at Walgreens, in my area, they've completely fallen apart. I got my prescriptions transferred to a different pharmacy. And you know, sometimes gotta wait an hour to pick them up. 
I just tell myself that's how it goes. There's people in line that after five minutes completely lose their mind. You know, how dare they have to wait five minutes when they used to be able to just pick them right up. So I do worry that if a similar call of action comes, I wonder if the society is too soft to do what's needed. I think people will rise to the occasion though. I think it's a matter of getting a little more perspective, having more gratitude for what you do have, what you're able to do. I mean, we got Christmas coming up. A lot of people won't get their stuff that they've ordered online on time. Or they'll get it, but it'll be swiped off their front porch before they're able to retrieve it. Annoying things to be sure, but manageable. So let me know what you all think. A little bit different fare for the channel, but this got me thinking. So thanks for watching everyone. And please stay tuned for future videos.